Good news, good news, the gospel brings good news. Welcome back. Welcome back to episode 10 of Beyond the Pine featuring your host, Stephen Suptic. The gunner, James DeAngelis. Dark prom queen, Clayton James, a.k.a. K. The dark prom queen or dog prom the queen? Dog. The dark prom queen. I misspoke. And then there's finally... Your son, Autumn well, oh. Farrell. Little boy. In many ways, you are like my son. Yeah, I know. I love really? it. All He's kind of like each other's I was distant uh, lecturers. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, by the way. It's Thanks. been a hot minute. How long have you been out of the podcast? Three weeks? Uh, I think so, so yeah. Jamie and Devin, Devin twice, twice for some fucking reason. Who is he? B- He's B team. Is he okay? I've made sure to remind him of that several well, times today. Well, there's a C team. Who's on C team? Oh, yeah, because we have, we have tiers at Sugar Pine 7. We have A team, me, B team, which is on, you guys. I don't know who's C team. And then we've got C team, which is Devin. Devin C team. Sorry, Devin. Autumn C team. I dropped a full lay. Just team. because of the, the layout. Autumn's definitely it's really on the formality. C team. I'm on the F train. By the way, let's uh, oh. uh, get a pop this congratulatory uh, champagne. Do you want me to? <laughs> do you want me to do it? Do you want me to drink <laughs> it? Thank you. I believe it's Matt Hollum. Thanks, mm-hmm. Matt. From Rooster Teeth. Thanks, boy. Man, you, thanks for getting me drunk, dude. You have, you're have you instigating me. Ugh. I mean, sorry, entrapping me. Sorry, m- turning me on sexually. Autumn drank a sorry. whole one of these the other day. Shitting. For no reason. That's true. Just... <laughs> all the foam. Like the fucking water bottle where you're like... <laughs> she squished the glass. <laughs> Since I purchased a ring from Tiffany's, I actually get a, a free one of these bigger... Every time uh, I go, humble is this brag. A brew? Is this yeah. brew? If I have to go get a ring cleaned or something, I get to go to yeah. Tiffany's and get a free bottle of. I'll Vude. clean the ring. You give me the Tiffany's. Very easy. All right, shall I pop it? Shall I shake it up first. No. Uno, dos, There's a tres. lot of electric things here. I'm gonna try to break the that mirror. Was so mm-hmm. excited. Yeah. Don't hit me though. Don't hit me though. I need you to not hit me if possible. Anyone God, else it's here? tough. Okay. You what, what you should do is pull it off it's somewhat just and not then. Me. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Jesus. Oh, dude. but then don't hit me if you can. Guys, it's going to come out easily. All right, is everyone I just, ready? I just don't trust your skill in athletic things or anything yeah, regarding athletics. Yeah, I don't athletics. trust anything that I has to do with varsity not tennis, bitches. And you did awful on the court, which proved almost to be a lie. Really. Your Lord, if this is it, melatonin. I'm ready for you. God, dude, you're so ah, pregnant. It was there it is. Where'd it go? Mazel tov. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did it really? Boy. Yeah, dude. How fast was it going? Hurt, it hurt. It hurt. It was a 20. Very good. It was a 3. I can just drink this out of the bottle, right? Speeds of three down the tree. Because everyone has their own little tree, glass. Yeah. Anyone uh, need a no, refill? No, no. I need a refill only. A oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't get any by the time this As is done. As you're pouring it into, I had a half full it's glass. It's only coffee. God, I had like, a half a full glass. You had a full cup. Your boy Kib has gotten yeah. none and would like his empty cup we filled. Also, we have one more bottle, too. Okay. Fill yeah, it sideways. We, we don't really do empty bottles. Right bottom. I believe so, We're not going to fill it sideways. I don't have time. Right bottom. Everyone gets a bottle. It's that simple. There's another one in there, right? I actually haven't had any of this yet. I've had none either. There it is. Cool. All right. So cheers, everybody. All right. To the streaming victory. Cheers. There we go. Ding, 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 Why, ding, is ding, ding, ding. Hmm? Why is your cup disintegrating? Why is your cup disintegrating? You didn't touch my nose. You don't have to do that, though. Back. Autumn. Oh, you didn't what? Touch Autumn. Touch James. Jeez, there you go. Dude, I'm going to have cool. to talk to a certain somebody about the way you've been acting. Yeah, you can talk to me about it later. I'll oh, you're going to fight Autumn. again? No, he's going to talk to me about a situation with the not touching. It's just, it's a HR thing, dude. I wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. Everybody's been saying I that. I absolutely wouldn't understand. I wanted to briefly say thank you guys for all, all the great work you do. Oh, I thought you were th- thanking the fans. I do want to thank them, mm-hmm. but I was going to get oh. to that in a little bit. Because um, I didn't, I did I, th- I thank them, I thanked people that watched the videos during the speech, but I didn't thank people specifically that voted. I just wanted to encompass everybody. But truly, thank you to everybody that voted for us. Yes. For yeah. show of the year. It wouldn't have happened. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Mm-hmm. And to everybody that helped with the retweets, like Rooster Teeth and every mm-hmm. friend mm-hmm. that Couch Hop Funhouse. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Otherwise, we wouldn't have won. Justine. And we'd be yeah. put in our place as we should um, have been. Well, you'll never be able to name everybody. Let me think. Uh, you. Seer. Blake Anderson. Ronnie Donnie <laughs> Uh The Let's Get Peas guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, dude. Oh. Donald Trump mm. retweeted it. We wouldn't have won without yeah his support. Brock Leglando. Brock Leglando, yeah. <laughs> no, he was great. Brock Lesnar. Former Price resident. <laughs> <laughs> former Price of right, Price's right host. <laughs> you know what's sad? My brain is now switching letters of words on purpose. 
when I speak. What? It's gonna well, on purpose is okay oh, if it was doing coffee? it accidentally. But now it's doing it almost when I don't want it to. You know what I mean? Oh, involuntarily. Sorry, it's so you, 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 you've uh, you've developed anemia of the brain. Bulimia, also yes. known as dementia. I have <laughs> bulimia. I have bulimic dementia, <laughs> where you just forget to eat. <laughs> My brain gets smaller. <laughs> is bulimia where you throw up? Yeah. Yes. So you, you forget, forget, ha- you forget so to have an eating disorder. No, you forget that you shouldn't throw up, and you just keep throwing up because you think it's right. <laughs> no one told me. I'm bringing, I'm bringing light to the topic, everyone. This isn't bad when it's cold. No, yeah, it's, it's actually really like very cold. Well, yeah. yeah, every champagne should be cold. <laughs> so I like agree. If you're just drinking it, then it's just like too like bubbly and f- f- filling. It was yeah, fucking warm. frothy when it was warm. <laughs> guys, keep it down. Oh, guys, fun. careful. That looks like a cup of something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing we'll never have an issue Isn't where it, it does look and like it's bubbly and a little bit Dude, frothy. That's what just like, that would like would be, be a weird thing if people in the office were peeing in cups and leaving them in the other room. <laughs> yeah, especially these cups that we drink in. During the it, podcast, I might replace one of your guys' cups with a piece of pee. With a piece of it. <laughs> we're here. We'd see it. A if, piece of one pee. If we this would, is uh, your first time experiencing us because you came over from the, the Streamies wave, it doesn't get better. But thank you for, for joining us. Um, so cheers to you guys. That was easily oh. one of the coolest oh. experiences in my life, and I'm sure. That goes without saying for everybody else here. On what are you doing? Watch yourself, kid. On the team. Watch yourself. Kid. Watch myself? What is nine times three? Nine times three? Well, I'd have to take some time to think about it. <laughs> some of us didn't Wait, memorize dude, the Really? Alphabet. What is nine times three? It'd be 36, 9, 12, <laughs> like 62, dude. No, do you you I, said please. three, six, nine, twelve. You were going by threes. What's six times eight? I'm going to give you one. What's okay. 12 times 20? 12 times 20 is, okay, so you t- 10 uh, times 20 oh, is 200, he's thinking. 2 yeah. times 20. You do have to think about it. Normal people have to think about it. 240. Yeah. It's just 2 times 12 with a zero. And 2 times 20. Now who looks like the idiot, dude? It's just two t- what's 2 times 20? No, because you split it up. You have to do uh, 10 times. No, you don't. Or 12 what's times. What's 2 times 12? 24. And, pl- and add a zero. Yeah. That's not that easy. <laughs> okay, give me another one, bitch. Now. Give me another one. I don't care. So I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I just want to prove that. What's so six times welcome, eight? Hey, welcome back to What's our new six segment. Times 12? Who can do math better? Seventy-two. Oh, hold seventy-two. Up. Hold up. <laughs> this is much more entertaining. No, it's not. What's uh? Okay, kid. What's <laughs> six? <laughs> Science. That's not fun. Okay, what's nine times five? That's an easy one. Dude, everyone knows that. Please be careful. Don't give him the answer. What is it? Forty-five. Oh, fuck off. He then said forty-nine. <laughs> Forty-five. I didn't say forty-nine. Cuck. One right. more. What's uh, sixteen times thirty-two? Fuck off. It's Wait, I'll do it easily. Oh, uh, 32, so, uh, s- uh, yeah. so six, uh, 10 oh. times 30 oh. is 300, <laughs> and then you got... Uh, you it's not that... Like, I love how your thought process is exactly as fast as mine, but for some You keep giving me easy. hard ones! And mine are not? Okay, do 16 times <laughs> sixteen times 30. 16 times 32? 32, sorry, yeah. Okay. Oh. A normal person has to think about it, dude. This is my point. For some reason... I gave you ones under, like, 10. I gave you 12 times that 12 because everybody any... knows it's 144. Dude, there's a formula for everything. It doesn't make it any more difficult. You still have to think about it and go... Uh, uh, uh. No. Yes, but so you, you couldn't even out. get 9 times 3 right away. Well, Devin, I think that you're ugly. Devin's the least ugly person out of this entire group, which is unfortunate because it overshadows... 512? 512? Um, Maybe. I don't know. I didn't but do you it gotta admit because Kip was cool. talking. That's not that cool. So you're sliding. First off, that's gross. 32 and 16. Stop yeah. sliding the. Very good. I did it. So James was able to get 16 times 30. Two. Two. Was 32. That's a bit of a bummer, honestly. Yeah. Let's rank uh, hotness in this office. You almost you bring that up. I think every podcast. And well, it like was to coolness. Keep it, it was coolness before. But now it's attractiveness. People it's keep talking subjective. about. I'm pissed because they talk about Devin's teeth. Way mm-hmm. too much. Devin's got He's white got teeth. Good teeth got white teeth. Devin's got wide teeth. And they're perfect teeth. Really Devin's got light man teeth. Do you save any of the comments that people were saying about you guys? Because you were doing that save before. Save any of them? Yeah, because you were like... We oh, no, we were reading through them, and it, we had such a good bit. I wish we had recorded it. And we d- went through all the comments doing this bit, and then we're like, fuck, we couldn't do this again, too, because it wouldn't be genuine. Oh, yeah, instead we did a bit where we sat on a couch. Which also got deleted. What? No, yeah. no, no, not that one. I'm uh, talking about the one we filmed over there. Oh, that was so this funny. One. Yeah, one did, that was worth This wow. one. Yeah. I remember. That was a good bit, wasn't it? The Everyone. one I did. The yesterday. one that we actually cut to this time? Hey. Hey. Wake up. Wake up. What, dude? Are you awake? Yeah, kind of. What are you doing? I'm just I'm sleeping. What have been dreaming? What have you been dreaming about? You and everything. Me? Did you take the lithium ion battery? Yeah, I put a lithium looking. ion in my asshole, and I'll tell you what, it doesn't ever charge it back. It doesn't get its charge back. <coughs> you okay? 
I'm looking for that. Are you okay? Do you worry about battery? Do you have any chest here for me? Yes, do you want to have a couple? <laughs> oh. Do you have any more for me? <laughs> no, no. Okay, go back to sleep. <laughs> oh. What am I dreaming about? Oh. You guys good? Yeah. I just was nicking out, dude. Now we're just chilling. Jamie got us this sweet uh, couch, so we're promoting it. Check this ride out, dude. Do you want to do the podcast? Yeah. Welcome back to the chair. We have a, a couple of guests. We've got so many. We've got a pancake factory. No pancakes, no factory. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. That was so that funny. That is very funny. I don't know why that was. Did you? you, must, you I cut it. Yeah. You liked it? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. So way. James did that noise, and then we just the. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's no context with. Oh well, they saw the bit. So yeah. there is. Why did we win show of the year? <laughs> this is. Well, this because of our, it's because of our the thing. dramatic the um, resonance. I knew they'd fuck it up. <laughs> why are you wiping that up with your hand? What are you doing? That's oddly. Now you have to touch that's your laptop just, because we're making Autumn edit. Making me uncomfortable. All Autumn has this thing where she can only absorb liquids from the palms of her hands. <laughs> yeah, and similar to that. Just strong fingers. Like that. Also, that's Guys, so close to the battery. Um, so exciting news. I got back into playing Alien Isolation today, and I got past a part that I, I've been spending eight months trying to get on. But that because <coughs> I helped. But that's you. not be. No, you didn't. Oh. But that's not because I've been playing straight. It's because Rich. the last time I played it was eight months ago. So I've been spending eight months trying to get past. Did that. you stop playing that part because it was too scary? Not that it was too scary, it was just genuinely really hard. And then, but today, for some reason, I just realized how to do it. Alien Isolation is my favorite horror it's game a great in game. the past, like, I love it. 10 oh, years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easily. You were, oh, I actually never really played Resident Evil. I'm a big fan of the Silent great. Hill series, 1 and 2 and 4. No, not 4. Fuck 4. Homecoming. <coughs> Homecoming. I like Resident Evil 4. That's great, Devin. No, I'm talking about Silent Hill. Fantastic, oh, Devin. <laughs> no, I don't so think you would. Great, Devin. Silent Hill Homecoming. Keep That's the fifth talking, one. Devin. Uh, let me pull up some iTunes reviews because every week we read those. I'm going to give us uh, each of the most recent ones. I bet none of those will be about Devin. Those comments. I sincerely hope not. <laughs> you guys have a really fun camaraderie. It is. And I really I hope we don't. We find it hilarious. Except for I like Devin. <laughs> How do you feel about me, Devin? Dude. I love you. I have an idea and for. I like that you do that. Guys, too. I have an idea for next week's podcast. We just watched Dumb and Dumber. Oh, I'd love to. And it's just a playing Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> and we With get, our heads in the middle of the screen from behind us. Yeah, like the uh, silhouette, like we're in the audience. All of the like the riff tracks. Exactly. Like it's our like silhouette. Mystery. But we're very invasive to the screen, so you can barely see. That is... Very high. Just <laughs> <laughs> but we don't need to be. We're just all... We're all wearing really this. tall hats. <laughs> Fedoras. <laughs> short hats. <laughs> if you do want to support the podcast and leave us a review, we read them every week. We read one each. And I want to start this one off by uh, someone named Theral. That was my account. Who says, thanks guys, five stars. They say, I discovered this channel after watching the On The Spot episode, yikes. When you guys took over and it was around then, I had a lot in my life hit me all at once. And the improv reality style of your channel really helped me through it. And listening to your podcast really helped me get through some long car rides. You guys are great. Please keep it up. Thank you so much, Theral. Thank that was you. a very sweet comment. It also seemed a bit made up, to be we honest. We had fun on that On, that on The Spot <laughs> episode. Kip had the most fun because he doesn't remember it too well. <laughs> I was so fucking drunk. I was... Drunk, but I was there. I kept drinking. The, we almost finished that bottle, bottle of, uh, was that Elijah Craig? Like bourbon? Very yeah. good bourbon. It was so good. Sort of. I love Elijah Craig. No, it was um, Knob Creek, I think. Was it? Uh-huh. Um, it no, it's funny because strong. Kib, as I'm sure you all know, is always talking, especially when he shouldn't be talking. You know what? It takes one to know one, Miss Philly. You've been talking lately. Oh, have I? Well, I was going to say that you could tell that he was that drunk because <laughs> he, he stopped talking. talking for like five minutes. <laughs> I did. There was a show. good five minutes. Of just like. You were like asleep. Yeah, you were smoke. just like this. Just, okay, right. And then like we were doing that baby that baby food bit and you just like took it and we were just like. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew you I needed was any food. I knew what it. I was doing. Like I was like, I'm just so drunk. I don't feel like talking right now. And I saw the baby food and was like. <laughs> no one handed me one, so I'm taking one. I thought that episode was so funny. I thought it was so funny. Like trying to guess the flavors because they all tasted like a potato, but one had blueberries in it. I'd yeah. love to do on the spot, but from just a contestant perspective. Hosting yeah. was tough. 
Mm-hmm. I, I respect John a lot more after that. I, f- I feel like you did a good job, honestly. <laughs> like, obviously, we were crazy, and that was, like, the whole bit. So. It was very polarizing. I know everyone, yeah. like, a lot of people loved seeing the dynamic of John not being the host. Mm. And it was cool. A and he was just it. Like, it was also, a lot of people hated it. A lot of people yeah. hated it. <laughs> also, really? People Understandable. That episode? Yeah, a lot of people Oh my God, like so many episode. people were ch- yeah. fucking shitting on that hey episode. Hey guys, enjoy something that doesn't happen once, like often, I mean, yeah. that only happens once. Or enjoy, or enjoy what you want to. No. <laughs> enjoy what I want you to enjoy. <laughs> I feel like I'm always countering everything you say yeah, on every podcast. Like you don't want to be friends with me anymore. Oh, let's move on to the next review. Uh, it's just the one down. It's a streamy one, streamy related one. That's cool. So the next one is titled Steamy Streamy Boys and Girl from Alala 88888. And this Absolutely is it. Not. Are you shitting me, dude? Oh, dude, it, Devin it, just it, broke every light in the room. Oh, oh crack. <laughs> Did not crack. Is that a crack on the bottom? It is a crack. No, it's not. It's, it's not even where it hit. God, those plastics right crack, dude. Dude, it's, it's cracked. cracked it. Okay. Dude, Devin's on crack. Review. All right, so I've been listening to this podcast since it started. I've been keeping up with the show on YouTube since it came out, and I also started following all of Steve's work ever since I saw dumb videos by Super Panic Frenzy. Dumb, stupid, shitty, just the worst videos. I edited that a was couple me. of those. I edited a couple um, of those for you guys. I cannot express how incredibly proud I am to call myself a fan of Sugar Pine 7. Thank you. And to watch you all get recognized for your genius as well. You are all my champions, and you will go so far in anything you take <laughs> on next. <laughs> you all perfect. You're all perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you all. Oh, even <laughs> You're all perfect, and I love you all. Even you, chicken boy. God bless and keep vaping. Thank you. So Listen. the next one is the one at the top. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Drip boy. This one's by Ty Yunk. It's a full five star. Hey guys, congrats on the streaming. You definitely deserve it after all the awesome content you put out. To congratulate you guys, I'd love to invite you all to Disneyland. Let me know at Ty Yunk. Oh, I've, Ty gotten, Yunk, offers, I've gotten offers like that before. I'd don't. like you to go away. Well, no, don't say go kidding. away. That was more for a joke. Well, well, I want to know. I'd love to go to Disneyland. You mean with you, you you want to invite us all to Disneyland and pay for all of our tickets? Because that's about five hundred dollars. And I'm down. No, that's about six hundred. That'd be a great video. Ooh, I've. Uh, before, before you take anyone up on uh, any offers like that. What are you like going to pay for my Disneyland trip? And I don't want you to tickle my pickle while we're there also. There we go. That's exactly what I was about to say. You don't know who's a pervert, who's trying to get up on Ty your... Yonke is not a pervert, dude. Uh, how would you know? I just, I feel it. Well, his name's Tight Gunk. I sense auras, dude. <laughs> who's the nearest pervert, then, if you sense auras? Oh, it's definitely Devin. Devin's a pervert. He's a goddamn pervert. Look how he's, he's handling that. What does that sign say? I'm here against my will. And that's exactly what a pervert that's would what a say. Pervert would that's say, exactly yeah. what a pervert would that's say. A perverted, that's a pervert joke. I that's feel s- disgusting with him. I feel a little. I feel slutty. That's and my in danger. So I Do you feel, though, that Devin that will from me. take you against your will? Yeah, all day. All day. Yeah. Devin, so make changes. Wait, you understand? why do you have my laptop? Oh, because you're know, reading the reviews. <laughs> hey. Devin. <coughs> stop. This is... Uh, Blissful Chaos from Vince from Sham Wow. A little less vaping would be nice. Five out of five, Subdick. Well, Very five good. out of five, what, that leaves no room for improvement, so we can keep vaping, right? right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll leave a four or something. I'll vape to that. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Once again, if you uh, want to leave an iTunes review, you can in the link in the description. Uh, it's much appreciated. I don't know what reviews do for us on iTunes, but I imagine it makes the podcast look like it's cooler, which is always great. Uh, I do... I have to remind you once again, there's no sponsor this week, so hit up our merch store. Oh, then I'm, now I'm done. Now I'm done with any promotion. I'm done okay. with any promotion. Cool. Let's do uh, Story Times with James. I'd like to hear a story of the week. Oh, it's not time for that. So sorry. I would like to, though. Well, we'll get to it. Okay. I would a like it bit, I now, think. I think. I just want to address one thing real quick, and I, that's that I am shaving my head soon. You actually are going to do it? Yes, I have to. I'm oh, yeah. so you proud do. you do. You're I'm obligated. I'm obligated to shave my head. Dude, the scared? amount of laughs I'm going to get from Have you guys that. ever contracted anything? I'm a little scared. Anything? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because I... What does your head look like under the... 16 cats. Oh. Yeah. Is it, Can like, bumpy? The, well, like people rough? did mock-ups of what I'd look like bald, and it, I saw that. it for sure just wouldn't be good. So could you put your hat on backwards, very tight back, so we could get a, just a preview of what it's going to look like? Oh, yeah, Gerald! That's not how Oh! Oh, yeah, Gerald. Dude. Oh, yeah, Gerald. Oh, yeah. No, it's not going to look good. <laughs> I just wanted to... said that. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things you've ever... Previously written, one of millions that I've just gotten so far. Okay, Autumn's angry, so let's move on. So sorry. So I just sorry. didn't shave my head because of the short film that we're doing. True. 
I mean, dude, that would look so silly for the short film. Yeah, it just would not have, have looked good. It. I don't think I'm going to get my hair cut for it anyway. Yeah. But I'm going to shave my head. Uh, should I do a full, a full shave? I think head? you should do a mohawk. That'd be hilarious. I'm going to do a mohawk. You would look, you would that would look worse than a full shave. No, head. it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Because you'd still have the fringe. Do okay. it uh, down the middle. Mm. Can you grab a shave down the middle so yeah. it looks like I have. I want to be not yes. like that. Can you do uh, a monk shave? A monk shave? So you just shave like a circle in the top. <laughs> <laughs> you have the hair around the back of the sides. Because it's cold and it's dark. And the moon cannot light the way. And daddy's gone. I'm just a baby. Wow. We did the last one. You ever one. seen, you ever seen the Death Race? <laughs> yeah, I love Death Race. With uh, the Jason Siegel and the, the driver and the driver, she's just driving. It's so fucked. Hey, I wanted to ask you guys about something uh, that I saw in the news. Um, Steven Seagal did an interview. Mm. Uh, I forget who it was. How old is he now? Sorry it was. Either, I think it was Pierce Morgan's interview, Pierce. and he was talking about you know Pierce. kneeling for the flag thing. But then he mentioned, and this is all I want to talk about with this, that he he said, you know, you know, I've risked my life countless times for this country. Is that true? Has Steven Seagal ever risked his life for... Well, I know he's an actual police... Yeah, he is... Oh. He's a, a sponsor, you said? Officer. Police officer. Yeah, he's a... Isn't he a sheriff or something? Or, like... Yeah, he works... Uh, right now? Currently, yeah. Mm. He what? He what? Show, he had a show. It was, like, Steven Seagal's celebrity officer or something like that, where he's literally a police officer for... I think it's in Florida. What Probably the fuck? entirely wrong. Um, but, yeah, he would literally... It was, like, cops, huh. but led by... Steve Se- Steven Seagal. That's so what? cool. What? Why did the cops let him lead them into battle? Well, because he actually, similar to like Keanu Reeves, he He's actually has like training. full training and stuff like that. Understandable. Yeah. Did he do training for the show or was that a whole, totally no, I prior event? I mean, his whole career has been action <clears throat> and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure he's been through the similar kind of training that Keanu Reeves does. Like, in the sense that he's, like, an actor who actually has all that training for the action stuff That's he does. That's so cool. I actually really oh, like and he's the also a martial artist. Show with, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. true. So he has, like, training. I don't know, like... What's so funny, Steve? Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, Steven Seagal, Lawman, is an American reality television series that aired on a e for its first two seasons and Reels for its third. So, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, do you think he actually he's risked his life? Yeah, he's a reserve yeah. deputy sheriff in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. That's so Maricopa funny. And Maricopa County, Arizona. That's very cool. Wait, what? So he's still a... He's That's a, right, Slim. Maripa County? Yeah, that's Mar- weird. Weird. That whole interview was so stupid. Mariah and Carey County? And I just, yeah. like... I was laughing so hard. I've come this well, uh, for this country. Think about it like this. He would be an idiot to just say that with no backing. True. But he also is an idiot. He is an idiot. He's Absolutely. An idiot. Do, yeah, you got to see the interview. I'd have to see the interview to make that call about <laughs> him being an idiot. I remember idiot. that one There's movie. reason South Park makes fun of him. I remember, <laughs> well, South Park makes fun of everyone, and that's why South Park People is amazing. People that deserve it, though. And they're so smart. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Yeah. yeah. No, they, so they're funny. amazing because they make fun of everything. You Sorry. have to, if you're going to make fun of anything, you have to make fun of everything, in my opinion. Absolutely, yeah. Like, I think that's truly really not taking a stance. And once you take a stance, you alienate half of your audience. Oh, they for sure have taken was a it, stance in the past. It was, I mean, it was either Bo Burnham or fucking Idubs or somebody. It was Idubs. Who said, like, you, it's either all okay yeah, or none of it's okay. Yeah. I agree with that. How do you feel about people telling place. you you look like uh, discount Idubs? Because I've seen that comment a lot. Discount Idubs? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. dude. Or do you yeah, think I he's mean, a do discount? How do you, you feel about people telling you you look like Steven Subtick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, better than... You you know. Know. Who are you going to look like when you shave your head? I'm going to look like... Uh, I don't know any shaved head. I'm going to look Mr. like Clean. Hank from Breaking Bad. The son of Mr. Clean. Mm. You wish, bitch. No, the son of Mr. Clean. <laughs> Did you know... Mr. Dirty. Was that scene... Dr. Dirty. Was that scene where Hank, you know, the thing happens to him, and he says he's ASAC? Schrader, what is it? Is that the first time he's ever said his name in the show? His name's ASAC? No. Really? No, I his thought name's he re- Hank. Hank. ASAC yeah, is his title in the DEA. Gonna say. Yeah. So his Hank, name's not ASAC? Hank Schrader, dude. What does ASAC mean? <laughs> uh, you almost convinced me. I was like, ASAC? <laughs> Assistant? ASAC would be a weird name, wouldn't it? ASAC. It'd be an Assistant one. Special Agent in Charge. So now you should know why I never have good opinions about movies you or anything. You do have good opinions That about episode, Ozymandias of Breaking Bad, is the best episode of TV. Which one was that? It's the third to last episode. Did you see all of Breaking Bad? Oh, yeah, multiple times. Okay, so Hank. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's the best episode. Unbelievable. It's amazing. It's like crashing in on everything that Five Seasons has established. Isn't the director of that doing something? Ryan Johnson, my boy, directing The Last Jedi. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. And he also did Looper. Yep. 
wow, the director wow. of Looper did an episode of Breaking Bad. That's yeah, and it, cool. He did three episodes, two or three. Um, it's funny because one of them was Fly. Do you remember Fly? Yeah, I remember Fly. That was the most hated episode out of the entire it series. Is, but was it the like Fly in the in the in the lab? I didn't mind it. It was a little bit. It was like, wacky. It was, it was more. It was, was more like um, for the show character driven or like the dialogue driven stuff and like definitely then like action based or yeah. like i still enjoyed it because that was still like at the peak of like wow the show's fucking amazing. yeah that's season four mm-hmm. still still um, great like mid-season four you know they're they're dealing with gus and everything slower but it was like still fun the death it. of gus is one of the best like villain kill-offs ever season four i think was the best season oh it's to great. be honest yeah out of all the whole show mm-hmm. but you know how like a, a, a show will have its its best season and then a season after it will be like trying to make up for like okay well we're still going so we have to like incorporate a new villain and stuff like that yeah i think breaking bad did a good job of like because they they didn't bring up their main villain who was like jack the leader of that neo it was group. a whole group it was and there yeah, were other counter it was jesse it was hank and it was walt all as like villains and heroes at the mm-hmm. same time and like that's such a good way to follow up like an amazing villain like gus honestly todd really was the one that stuck out to me as like the well todd the, was a sociopath yeah, yeah. which was yeah and he was a fucking great actor. What's that guy's name? Matt Damon. <laughs> Damon. Sorry, Mickey Mickey Mouse. Rourke. Mickey Rourke, the fighter. <laughs> Do you know the uh, the, wrestler. the wrestler was also the same person that made Mother? Are Darren you Aronofsky sure you made uh, the wrestler. Oh yeah, wow, really? isn't that nuts? Right. That is um, so the wrestler weird. was amazing. Yeah, the wrestler only is two so movies good. of Darren Aronofsky's that I like. I don't count Requiem because I don't like that movie. I think it's a good movie. I don't like that movie. Is the wrestler in Black Swan? Well, James loved Mother. Loved it. <laughs> We've sworn never to talk about mother on the podcast. Yes, and that's um, as far as we'll go. And this is the day we break that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, have you guys seen anything recently? Any movies at all? Um, no, I haven't even had time. Twilight, the first one, like a week or two ago, <laughs> with Sammy Joe. Really? I loved it. I love guys, Twilight. It's great. Oh my god! Last night I watched the season six finale of Vampire Diaries. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> I actually do want to watch that because Dude, if I, I think you you're said, really gonna like you it. Said because I like Twilight, I would love Vampire Diaries. It's better than Twilight. Oh. Yeah, I've been watching. Know, I've been watching the Good Place because I kept hearing a lot about is. it. It's just um, okay. It's like the guy who made Parks and Rec. Or is it, yeah, yeah, but um, it's not that good actually. Like it's yeah, okay. It's like just okay. It's like it's cute, like, but yeah. it's not like that funny. Isn't so. it like a CW or ABC show? Yeah, yeah. I had like high expectations when I was talking about how funny it was, but it's okay. You know what sucks about? And this is another thing back to Mother, but I'm not going to talk about Mother itself. What sucks is that Paramount really took a risk budgeting that because that's a I think it was 30 million or something to what the fuck? to release that do I need to and watch it there's no Please way I talked to you about this I know but you also kind of got over it a bit oh I'm over it but I still don't watch it if you want to watch it watch it and then make up your own opinion it. about it you know you it's, but I remember Jeremy and Andrew who are, who are they're both Christian too they're like oh yeah I gotta see that and I was like <laughs> you don't. did they see it I don't know if they saw it yet well 30 million dollar budget mm-hmm. my worry is that People, because it was marketed as a horror, people that go to see that are, I mean, you already know, people are fucking pissed that they spent, there were so many walkouts. My worry is that with future studios, uh, that they won't take risks like that on a movie that deserves it. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Well, Well, no, because it depends on the, on the, the, the material. Yeah, the script. That that one was a risk. And my worry also comes down to people who went to see that movie and they won't go see you know, another movie and take a risk horror, like that yeah. again. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's yeah. all in the marketing too. Yeah. Well, was it scary? It, marketed marketed completely. Yeah. it wasn't scary. It was extremely controversial. Just disturbing. And disturbing. Um, there don't, were, don't market it as a There was horror. about, <coughs> I think they no. had to, honestly. Well, yeah, I think there's no other way they could market it. Like. Well, weren't they kind of marketing it as just like, this will leave an impression on you and it's like weird yeah. and like, they well, I mean, they basically marketed it in a way that it was like a pseudo, like, Rosemary's yeah. Baby. I mean, that's what I thought when I saw the trailer. I was like, oh, this is a horror. Type of thing. Like, yeah, yeah and it, I think thought, it yeah. should have been that. Yeah. If it was that type of thing, it would have been great. Mm-hmm. And everything that I'm saying, I know that I'm backed by Devin, who's sitting right behind me. Devin's dead. Uh, stop looking oh, at him. Fuck. Dude. <laughs> um, oh, no. I think it's, there's one thing to have metaphors in a movie, but I think it also you should have a better point. Yeah, yeah you need like grounding or, or it like, doesn't hit you. Um, and also be a little more like... Kib, you didn't Easy see it. with it? No, I know, I've read no, a lot about it. I know a lot did, about it. And he's yeah, also no. just talking like in general is like with movies that mm-hmm. also do that type of thing where they, they're trying to put across a it's message. Thing, like, and it's like, my problem with Darren Aronofsky is he's one of the most pretentious filmmakers in Hollywood in the sense that he thinks that he made this groundbreaking, and I have an opinion about Mother, obviously, but like yeah, he, he thinks that he made this like groundbreaking 
uh, revolutionary like message or allegory for like you guys understand the story. now? No, Red Letter Media had one of the best things to say about it. I forget who it was that said it, but he was like, "Do you watch Red Letter Media?" No, but I, I wasn't finished. Oh, Real quick. God damn no, it! Is that he? <laughs> but like, if you really break down that script in that film, it's not that deep. It's very on the nose mm-hmm. with everything. Oh, absolutely. It's so like. As I'm watching it, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then once I realized, oh, that's what this is. It's a biblical allegory. I was like, oh, God. Mm-hmm. And then it's just everything is just that's that, that's that, that's that. There's no layers. Like, if you're going to do, like, a real metaphor for something, you have to make it layered. Like, Well, here's the best biblical allegory. <laughs> the mummy. <laughs> Here comes the locust. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's dead. <laughs> holy shit. Everybody's dead. Big fucking tornado. Okay. But specifically for the metaphor... The metaphors involved in Mother, uh, Red Letter Media, they were like, uh, the message basically comes down to uh, people suck. That's what it comes down to. And it's, it's like. It's I mean, more so people who believe in God suck. That's what I got from it. Because only, the only people who are doing or destroying the earth are people who believe in God and have faith in God. Yeah, so it's like, what does that come down to? Is, and they that's said that's like, basically saying. Ourselves? That's literally saying that only like, faith driven people are destroying the world nobody else's from what i read it, it seemed very much so that he was like hey don't be as into religion as you are you know what i mean like don't follow blindly you shouldn't follow blindly anything no but that's True. not what i got from it at all i mean that's but he I also painted god in, in a negative light in the sense that well, like, that's what i mean like he made it seem like you're all idiots look at yeah he made it mean? seem like you're all idiots for just having faith in in god and and doing and like and but he made it seem like god was like oh they should destroy the earth and shit like that because, of, like, the character of him, which is Javier Bardem, was so distant and disconnected from mm-hmm. her, who's Mother Earth. And it's like, that's... Another thing is, if you're going to make a biblical allegory, make it a biblical allegory. That's just not the biblical story. It's so like, opinionated. It's... I have an opinion, but I don't agree with it, bitch. From an outsider's <laughs> perspective who doesn't know, like, much about religion in general, I just thought it was... It went... I thought it was going one way... And then it just kept going this weird path, and it was mm. so not fun. It should have been just a, like a uh, what was so a, a reimagining of Rosemary's Baby type of thing. That would have been so much better. Like that idea of like the woman who is like pregnant and like mm. is in a in a in an uncomfortable house or apartment complex, like in Rosemary's Baby, mm-hmm. and like the husband and the other residents there are involved in this satanic cult and are harboring. Or using her to like, you know, have the Antichrist mm-hmm. and stuff like that. That whole idea is it's been done since Rosemary's Baby, but badly. Mm-hmm. But like, I think well, if it had gone along those lines more and been a lot more focused, it was. It went. It went. It was like here. Like okay, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. And then all of a sudden, it was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then you're like, whoa, it was too much. It yeah. was too much. Well, I'm curious, Steve, from someone who was watching it, like you said, not really from a religious aspect, you're just watching it as a film. What was like? bad about it what didn't you like not thinking about like oh this is really negative towards religion like what what was bad about it as far as just a film i didn't like i mean it was the metaphors that ruined it for me i mean because you know watching it that even if you're not religious it's not a story that you really care about the people involved because the Mm -hmm. people are just these figures that represent something else so there's no ground grounded nature to it Mm -hmm. and that's what frustrates me is because by the end of it what the fuck? Why do I care? Yeah. And I and I agree with that too because like I'm the type of person also like I need I need characters who I'm gonna give a shit about. Yeah. And like it's hard to do that with such an abstract sort of metaphor. Yeah. Have Movies levels. Like that, yeah. They're so frustrating because it's like you want to connect with it really badly, but there's like nothing to connect there to. It's like that story and that metaphor could have been so much more powerful if it was packaged into like a really good story. I, I think yeah. that it should have been. It was way too on the nose with how it like. There was one point where it like went ninety degrees, mm-hmm. and was just like everything is this, and like everything was just so intense and on the nose, and it was just like shit. I felt like I was being assaulted. Mm. Yeah. Um, but uh, exactly, if you were to like package a metaphor for anything, whether it's religious or whatever, like you want to do a metaphor for, but you package it, it's just so subtly and unspoken mm-hmm. to the point where it's its own story, and then you can make all those connections later. Yeah. Like with Mother, it, it's that metaphor is what it is. It's nothing else. Yeah. And also, and what was he trying to accomplish? By making that so... His, uh, he was trying to accomplish telling the world how 
he feels about people and right. About so religion. the world was, sees that, was that it. but yeah. there needs to be something further than that. Like, no, what exactly. do you want it, people to do or take from it, that? Literally, the message just is so that you, kill yourself. We, like that's insane that's to me. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Yeah, and, it, and like, what I got from it was a lot of like, oh, exactly. I think you said this earlier. Like, you're dumb for believing in God. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, and I'm just like, dude. But so then you're, what, you're the opi- like the the things that you don't like about religion. You're embodying those things. By just being so judgmental and jumping to conclusions, saying mm. like you believe in this, so it's you're too stupid. Too far the other way. Like, like it's, it's very yeah, close-minded like, on the opposite side. Like of Like religious people who are like, oh, you're a sinner, or you're like stupid because you don't believe in God. You're being the, the same thing on the other opposite. side. Exactly. So like, what do you? You're a find a middle though. ground like, and like you know try I mean? to try to understand where everyone's coming from as far as like being religious. Um, like I, so I am trying to get better at separating my own opinion from like how I see a movie. Um, I, there were aspects of it that I thought were cinematically well done, like in the sense that the entire, I guess, first act is so focused on her, um, Jennifer Lawrence's perspective Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in the sense it's very tight shots on her. It's her walking in like mid conversation, mid interactions and stuff like that. I like that idea of disorientating the, the audience and and making them really connect with the main character Mm -hmm. in the sense that like you only know what the main character knows. Like there are other movies where like, like it'll cut to a scene that the main character's not in and so you get some exposition well, that's going on and so you, you're like, oh, I know this, but the, the main character doesn't. Sometimes I like that though. Sometimes like yeah, it's yeah. nice to be the eyes going, on the like, I know something you don't yeah, know. Yeah. You know I mean? Exactly. Cool. It depends on the, on the story for sure. But like yeah. with this sort of like mystery, thriller, suspense type of thing, I like being with the main character mm-hmm. who doesn't know what's going on because you're able to experience the same sort of twists and like... That's what I like the most. Yeah, that's the I usually only thing don't I like, like knowing it. what... Uh, other characters don't know. I mean, Breaking Bad, for example, did that quite a bit, right? Like, you'd know certain things, like Hard, certain things were coming. Times. Like Hank, for example, yeah. when he finds out. I I like that, mm-hmm. I guess. I was just about to say, I, I also like that? Because well, that scene's amazing. That's like when one of the few things shit, that I can think of. That and he opens the book and he sees the, the inscription by Gail and he's yeah. just like... <laughs> 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 one the, and the biggest one probably was just when Hank like was making... His meth and like his family didn't know. That's Walt. like the easiest biggest one. Sorry, yeah, Walt. Mm-hmm. Haven't seen the show. <laughs> we didn't talk much about actual streamy stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, like our experience there, what it was like to be. I've never been at an, an award show. Never won an award in my entire life. I um, a very 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 small film festival is recognized. Oh at. yeah, actually me too. Campus but movie yeah, fest. Really Congrats small. everybody. Yeah. No, I'm just. Saying, I want to. Like, Fifth place hey, at a kindergarten art I'm show. Just as excited as you are. I won What's most that? improved player in that. hockey back in the day. <laughs> I, I I was most improved player in, in the pickup artist MIP class. Baby. <laughs> MIP. MIP. <laughs> I don't know nothing about me because I'm a mother freaking MIP. Well, what does MIP stand for? Most improved player. Most impish <laughs> person. Man, I'm off today. It was the driving. You're not that off. You're okay. But anyway, back to the the streamies. <laughs> You're good. Um, I love you. We actually, I think we got nominated um, because uh, my friend from Machinima said that he submitted us, but I also submitted us, I think. You did, yeah. I know yeah. you did, yeah. So I'm not exactly sure how that works, but we got submitted. We got nominated. We campaigned pretty hard for it. And then when we actually get to the streamies, it was so fucking weird seeing all of these YouTubers. That was so fucking Unbelievable, weird. Unbelievable, yeah. You know, we were at a table with uh, Shane Dawson. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I'm such a fan. And Sam Watched Joe this too. stuff for like, so long. like... <laughs> yeah. And people got torn apart by John Cozart. That was amazing. He was great. He was Bra- so funny. Fucking I really, he was so funny. He really yeah. reminded me of like MPH in his whole like stage presence. Yeah, yeah. he did he a, this one bit that was uh, it was a musical number talking about all these different YouTubers. And then at a certain point, he was like, "Shay Carl, he's over there uh, having a beer. Who knows <laughs> who's he who's he texting?" And then everybody in the entire like everyone was like, <gasps> and then our whole table was like. <gasps> <laughs> laughing our fucking asses off. Yeah. What's the one? I remember we left at something else really hard that he said. I can't remember what it was. He and said it, a bunch of shit, dude. I also loved um, Patrick Starr. Is my dick out? <laughs> His speech was oh, my favorite the entire night. I have swamp ass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was great. Who was that? So, it was Patrick Starr. No, that wasn't Patrick Starr. No, that was John. Because I thought. Oh, John. No, that was no. That was the. That was the. That was the person. Katya from. Uh, oh yeah, it was Katya. Uh, was it Katya? I guess so. But I'll be honest. I at times. Listening to John rip people apart, I was and rip the streamies apart. It's fun to like mm-hmm. rip on yourself slash like the streamies ripping on themselves is John ripping on the streamies. Yeah. But there were times I was like, does it need to be that much? I was like, this I, isn't a roast. This I, I was like, was really I liked funny. it. I no, I thought tweet. it was funny, but there were times I was like, okay. It's I saw like, a tweet from him saying that like he was like looking at it from the perspective of older YouTubers, how all YouTubers used to just be a joke and like no one took themselves seriously. Mm-hmm. So he was like coming at it from that. And it was I like, like yeah. So I, I was think like, 
weirdest mm-hmm. part about all of this is how YouTube is supposed to be this, these grounds to be more relatable to your audience, yet it seemed like they took jokes worse than Hollywood does, mm. which is so fucking oh, weird. Yeah. Probably because they're Absolutely. insecure about the stuff they're making because it's not Hollywood level. And it's yeah. so personal. It's yeah. like if they're not in a film that requires a million other people, it's all them. So anything negative towards them is just a Their personal whole attack. existence. Is, Hardest yeah. burn of the night towards Lily Singh when she when he said that... Uh, she was a ripoff. W- yeah. Liza no, no, no. Oh, when yeah. Liza Koshy was a ripoff of her, but they like Liza Koshy more. That's oh, so yeah. funny. <laughs> they said it more, elo- she said it more eloquently. Uh, that's the first time I'd ever met Liza. She's, she's so, so nice. Yeah, so she's nice. Her. I'd love to get her in a video. Anyone can yeah. be nice for 10 seconds. It's true. Okay. <laughs> but it seemed genuine. You can yeah. tell when genuine. Tug. Also, I'm just going to say, I met Josh Peck. I'm a Me big fan too. of Josh since I was a kid. He's a great guy. He's super nice. Uh, I was a little buzzed and also buzzed on the fact that we had just won when I went up to him. And so when I when I was done like meeting him and stuff, I was like, all right, and, uh, I hate that I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the turd that was right behind me when we were like getting food. And he, I like turn around briefly and I bump his drink a little bit. He spills the tiniest bit on his uh, shoes that you can easily wipe that off and gives me like the worst stink eye in the world. Like, you should have kissed him. I should have. Don't spill on my shoes. <sighs> Don't spill on my shoes anymore then. That's what I'm saying. It's like, what do you expect? You're walking through a whole bunch of people with a drink like right here, holding mm. it out like a fucking idiot. <laughs> and I, I briefly turn around like, almost, as you like, do. Almost I'm like, I'm like <laughs> in my own personal space too. <laughs> I'm not extending outside of my radius. I'm moving around in my own in radius own with radius. my arm like this, in my radius. Steve, you don't understand that <laughs> your, so your, your elbow span alone In my own radius. It's seven feet. <laughs> my wing's here. Huge. Did yes. you, when you went up to do the speech, did you make the mic smaller? No. <laughs> no, I wish like you could have brought did. it up. My <laughs> mom <laughs> made fun of me for that. I think you tried to bring it up. <laughs> I and think then it went no, down. I don't think you did. No, so no, nervous. I was just so nervous. He just leaned over and he was like, I want to thank the streamies. It looked I like a, he went, <laughs> I had like a speech written too, but also I didn't think we were going to win, so I didn't memorize yeah. it. So I was like, oh, fuck it. And then said nothing. I Dude, only said a bunch of thanks. How funny say, is it that both of the first two jokes bombed? Oh, yeah. No. Dude, that's the funniest thing to me. I got a little laugh on the recovery joke. I James was like, was I go up there. It. Okay, so it was, you know, the, sh- the stream he goes to, Sugar Pie 7. Pie we all, 7. I love how she did that. Yeah. We <laughs> all fucking, so great. We all lost it. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like she was a little excited about it. I don't know if she watched their stuff or nerves of our stuff. Doubt it. That was cool. Doubt it. I mean, it seemed like it, and that <laughs> was a she cool was, thing. Yeah. But she um, recognized that it's a good award. Right, exactly. And so um, we all go up there. I, f- for some reason felt just I had like a, an idea of a joke in my head and I was like this is gonna be so funny <laughs> and um, so we, we get up there <laughs> we get up there I grab the mic and I'm like and the streaming goes to Sugar Pine 7 dead silent <laughs> then I go up let's go broiler that was the worst time to do that <laughs> no one laughed that's at all that's so funny <laughs> and Dude, then people in our audience don't know what the broilers are we don't know what they I know <laughs> no also yeah we're and I wanted to be like what I wanted to say first, and my um, my testicles reversed the sides when it happened. So yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> the polarity of your testicles. I had, is I had just something off. something happened to me, and so I, I was gonna say like, "Hey guys, I know you don't know who any, who we are, but um, that's okay." <laughs> I was uh, like on the way up, walking there. I didn't even think like I I had to talk. I was so nervous that I was just like looking at everybody, and I was so astounded. First off, that yeah. I was just like. Seriously. And then I got up there and I saw you talking and then I was just like, honestly, it might have been good that you talked first because if I got up there, I would have been like, I would have bumped the mic. You got a second to just go. Yeah. But then all I did was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then. No, you did thank good. You. It was just the hunch. I forgot to thank Alyssa, too. <laughs> so and she campaigned harder than anybody. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. So shout out to I Alyssa. was going to say something that I was like, nah. Dude. Yeah. I I'm like, just grateful. I was just like. Thank yeah, you. they went up there and they tried to hand me the thing and I was like, I shouldn't take that. And they're like, take it. I was like, take it. Oh, yeah. I'm in this. And then the only recovery joke we had, then they laughed at... First, they laughed at Steve. They laughed at the thing that wasn't even a joke. Yeah, six he's like, six we months. were only doing it... For, uh, I didn't think we'd get an award after six months. Everyone laughed. Sure said like, six days. Six days. <laughs> and then I was like, I knew we would. And I got a couple laughs. Yeah, yeah oh. that was good. No, dude. it was just... I mean... Do you want me to... Should we enact it? Nah. Let's do it. I will say I'm immensely <laughs> proud of you guys because none of I know that none of us thought we were going to win, let alone even just be that far in general yeah. at this point. And um, each one of you guys are so talented in what you do. And, like, I've seen at least to an extent, like, each one of you guys grow and stuff like that. And I feel like I've grown as well. I mean, just like in our characters, in the type, in the way that we make the show, and everything like that, and it's awesome to be doing that with your best friends. 
Yeah, I love you, dude. I agree. Yeah. Love you, for dude. you as well. Yeah. Thank you. You guys yeah. are my best friends. You guys are my best friends, too. You guys too. are my Didn't we already do a cheer? Friends. Coffee cheers, boy. Oh, vape cheers? Yeah. Oh. So. No, there's another vape here. Nope. Devin has it, but it's gone now. Oh, yeah, she's got the half. We got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. She doesn't vape anyway, so. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I must admit, the Streamies has brought on some weird issues, though. As much as I appreciate the words, issues that I will never be able to talk about until the end of my career. Yes. Until mm-hmm. 10 years from now, when you made eight mother two hundred dollars, <laughs> and even then, eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> even if I was the biggest director in the whole world, I would never be able to talk about it until Afterwards, my career's over. Yeah. Maybe if you were well, like Scorsese level. Yeah. All I have to say is, unions suck. Yes, every oh, union. Already said too much. <laughs> they just. Tweet. Yeah, but I mean the farmers union is like yeah the farmers oh. union. <laughs> you suck. Trans union, you know. Trains. Easy. Trains union. Easy. With Guys, trains. Um, we have a uh, an idea set up for a bigger video that could be really cool. It's um, the mini Jameses, and we've got four different. <laughs> oh God, don't Jameses. say Jameses. Right Jameses. Down, Should I Dude, say all no, the Jameses? No, never say two of the Jameses. Say okay. two of them now. So um, some of you who follow us on Twitter already know of Flames, one of my cousins. There's also Mames, who's an amputee. And there's Trains, who's just got a bad brain. And then there's the Nameless One. And he's mysterious as fuck. And I haven't met him yet. I've mysterious met Trains. One. Trains is my favorite because yeah. I can beat him up. Can you give um, us a taste sorry, of each one? Sorry, he me. Sorry, so, he's me. Sorry, can, you give us a taste of, can you give us a taste of Trains? <laughs> sure. sure. Thing. Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. You sure you don't want me to do it? Dad? That's a uh, steam engine six, 675 with the uh, uh, extended... Cole. Dad? <laughs> We've been, oh, so I think we talked about this on a podcast uh, probably like four weeks ago or so. There was a bit that happened in a car, and we realized. We did it again. Oh. We did it again, but we also <laughs> realized it doesn't necessarily have to be as bad as yeah. we thought it does, because it's just a kid. You know, when it's it comes down to it, it's just a kid. kid. It's just a kid. It's just a kid who's not, who's not smart. A drunk kid. Yeah, you know? Drunk, and drunk. we do it where, well, I don't do it, I just laugh. Uh, Kib plays the kid, and then James plays the role of the father. Who? And then you, you're my friend. You're just like the yeah, dad's I'm friend. Yeah, I'm just like who's I'd there. And start off like, with a question for the boy. So pretend we're in a car right now. Pretend Kib's in the back seat. Front I'm seat. in the passenger seat, and he's driving, and he's the dad. I'm his, the dad's friend, and he's the kid. So this is about how the bit goes. Hey, you Matthew, bud. Doing pretty just okay. If you need me to do good. Yeah, I've always I wanted you to. Well. I always want you to do good, but you know that. I'm proud of you, man, Chase always. Chase me. Chase me. We're in the car, buddy. We're driving home. I can't wait to see how many days it is till summer. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, buddy, summer just ended, so we've got quite a while. Do you think it's ever going to rain? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I will one day. Is he, is he okay? That's so oh, awesome. What's wrong with him? Nothing's wrong with him. Look, He's three look, years old. Look, <laughs> <laughs> She's only three years old, Steve. He has like great vocabulary and he has a lot of words to say. You know what's funny? Uncle Steve. <laughs> Not <laughs> Uncle hey. Steve. Hey, do you use glasses? Cause I need to. Do you want my glasses? Put them on me, okay? Cause then you're gonna see the movies tonight. Awesome. Sure. We're take not going to the movies, bud. You have to go to the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take to the clinic, cause everyone's. Awesome. Give those back soon. Can't see. Well, no, we got to go to the clinic. Them. We got to get you your medicine. Oh. What do you think about if we had medicine and then it can go to baseball later? Well, there. It's it's one o'clock in the morning. Yo, are you gonna drop me off soon? No, we're three hundred miles away from any. City. Dad, do you want me to have it uh, to be a train driver or to do other things in, with eating so, cheese? Remember what we talked about? Oh. A train driver. I know you love trains, buddy. A train driver is a conductor. Choo choo. That's the sound a train makes. That is the sound. Can I get my glasses back, little guy? Only if you make me to be a train driver. You're a train driver. Choo choo. Yep, there you go. You're a train choo driver. Choo choo. There you go. You keep saying choo choo. Can I get my glasses back now? I'm Do doing that thing that now? Dane Cook said in, in, I think it was Vicious Circle, when he's like, this is the worst driver <laughs> pantomime ever because he's just doing this. <laughs> you, it looked, I was thinking about it the whole time I was back there. It looked like you were just fucking... Jacking some long cock off the whole a time. Curved one, it curves down. <laughs> yeah, some of us do that. It's fucking that guy's nose, Gonzo. Oh, Alfredo. Or Alfredo. Oh my God, okay. there was a picture Alfredo of somebody shit Instagram. Instagram. the other day. What do you no, do? Alfredo. So I was literally peeing in my bathroom at my house, and I turned on the light mid pee because I was scared, and Alfredo was in my shower, completely on fire. Yeah, it's because I kicked him out of my room. And it's I- just. 
I did it's douse weird. him with gasoline also the, that day mm. uh, while he was at work. He was pissing me off. It's, he's afraid of gasoline, actually. No, it's weird because the sight of it. He didn't set on fire until I turned the light on. Can we talk about that thing that's happening down below? Can we talk about that? Yeah. No Why one not? knows where we well, are. We've heard Everyone knows where we are. Sorry. No, no, no. It doesn't matter for the people watch, watching this. It matters for the people who run that and would kill us or break into I'm our I'm not place. afraid, dude. I'm not either. Well, I'll put it this way. If they were to ever come in here... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> stopped in her tracks. <laughs> We've got bronze, dude. Is that gun getting bigger? Dude, you're making Mimi cry. Don't make Mimi cry. Mimi, should we talk about it? It's up to you. Oh, she doesn't even know. We should tell her. Okay, so, so we've caught wind of the reason why there's so many homeless and drug addicts around specifically in our area, you. in this little circle, Holy in this little shit. area that we have around here, mm -hmm. in the very short ra radius, and... It's related to something that someone has asked us before around here, wandering around I'll in a drug-infused state, asking for... Hey, you guys know where the uh, casino is? Are what? You from Boston? Oh, huh. No, I was just looking for the casino. I'll see you later, though. Casino? That's... Yeah. What casino? Where's there a casino? Oh, it's like underneath, and you know what I mean? So, so you know where it is. So you came here to ask us, but you no, know I don't know where it is. I'm just looking for it. Well, so why are you up underneath. top on the second floor? Hey, guys, install this app. I want to play you guys a game of Blackjack. So that's... None of that happened, but they talked about the casino. And then we caught wind that there is an underground uh, online poker casino. thing going on. Illegal. Illegal thing. That. And uh, it's assumedly where they're also getting a bunch of drugs and a bunch of other terrible things are happening down there. Sounds like a good place. And then Sounds today like, we saw the police in our little circle Actually, here yeah. in a building. In, which our, was exactly, in our office. Which was also the exact description of where somebody told us this was, the underground was it the little road. red door? It was the little red door that a mouse comes out of, and only if you give the mouse a certain type of cheese, a pepper jack, an aged pepper jack, you can oh, get the see, key. Oh, see, that's the I, I gave him a, a small sliver of Asiago. And you didn't get the key. I didn't get the key. You didn't get the key. What it's he gave me was a small cookie that I ate, and I became very large. Oh, that was yeah, oh, yeah, it's a way to keep you out of the, the yeah, hole. So you the good news jack. is, when this podcast goes up, Autumn will have been by herself here for the majority of, you know, absolutely our short film that we're shooting this weekend. Mm -hmm. Starting tomorrow. By the time this comes out, we're already done. I'm proud of that segue, um, dude. Tuesday. Nice. We're not done. Tuesday, not done? Wednesday Ooh, Wednesday. yikes. Still a day to... Well... <laughs> yeah, one more day. How are you feeling? How's the edit going? This is so meta. Yeah, how is what? it doing? Oh, no, she hasn't gotten the footage yet. You guys are talking She hasn't gotten the footage yet. No, because no, we're not good. back yet. Oh, so you're afraid then, soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's okay because I guarantee that nobody in this complex knows we exist. Yeah. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Mm, yeah. I would hope. The guys at the tattoo parlor are like... You guys make sh videos? How about you shoot my music video for me sometime? Didn't they say that? Yeah, that's why I got free Well, you just tattoo. mocked him. You got a free tattoo? Yeah. The knee? You did just mock him. Well, now it's over. Oh, yeah. That little smiley uh, face tattoo. That's great, dude. That needs cream. You need boy. cream. <laughs> Kip, you only don't moisturize. You only just <laughs> let it dry. Sometimes I like to dry heal. You ever so heard of that? When you were a kid, you didn't drink enough water and you'd pass out. Having you remember seizures. that? You've told me it countless times, and Once you still do that. You never drink fuck? water. I'm drinking coffee right now, is, dude. Is that your pee back there that's, like, brown? No, actually. Maybe. Whose piss is brown? One of mine was, like, the darkest you know I've ever funny? seen. Yeah, it's it's common that conception omelet. that coffee dehydrates you, but the amount of water that's in coffee compared to the amount of caffeine that would dehydrate you counteracts. Well, isn't it because it makes it like makes your your body kick into overtime and it like then sucks the water, water out anyways, or something? Maybe. Um, it, it will use water quicker, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. Drinking a cup of coffee won't dehydrate you. If you put cream, you start and stuff to get in dehydrated. It, if you're drinking maybe? black coffee, mm -hmm. but if you put uh, cream inside the coffee, dairy does not hydrate in any way. Shape I'm gonna have to look yeah. that up to verify that. Yeah, because I'm I was on a drive today. And, all right, uh, I, I trust it. you, but I'm just curious. I read this whole. It was this whole chart of common misconceptions. I also, you, I could read another chart that says that it does dehydrate you. Okay, sure. Online. Another thing. It's a common misconception and a common belief that bulls are aggravated by the color red, but bulls are actually colorblind. The only reason they're aggravated is because there's a fucking piece of shit that's fl in the middle really? of their so they they them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Every bullfighter des deserves to die. Yeah, no, they're absolutely. colorblind. They I don't mean, even know what red is. They, just see, a, is they see a guy there and they're like, you fucking asshole. Traditional bullfighting, they actually kill it, right, with a sword? Oh, yeah. That's fucked, yeah. No, yeah, everyone But there, there is a different version of it just escaping it. It's such a, I, I'm it always rooting for the bull. Yeah. Every time. Well, I mean, he doesn't ask to be in there. He's just scared no, and angry. Yeah. yeah. And I ornery. Love animals. Does anyone horny. here not side with the bull? Tell me now. Devin. Bull or the man? Everyone loves bulls. Choose one. Every time. You, you last another day. <laughs> that moves on to uh, another little segment where James gets to talk. 
again. Do Maybe you uh, want to talk again, James? You're the one who always is bothered by me talking for some reason. Yeah. It's also just, me. I'm not bothered by you talking, but I would like to hear you talk again with uh, uh, James's story time. Think what think What story do I have today? James story time, and now it's now. Well, I have a story. Here, I'll tell you guys a story. Welcome to Time with Kib. Nope. Yeah, so I told the guy. I see you're on these pots again. Did you just change clothes? That okay. cut was a lot longer than we wanted it to be. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Yes. Was a lot longer. Cat no, why don't we be honest with everybody? I had to make a quick email for insurance. A quick email. For quick equipment. is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Where are you a douche now? What are you talking about? I'm just saying, why you're acting differently, you're wearing sunglasses, and you change shirts. Two I didn't things. change anything. One, you're eating Chinese food. This is white rice. Okay. Second thing, it's now time for story time with James. <laughs> Let's hit it. So. Okay, I'll allow it. I've been living back in L.A. for a year and a couple months now. And this story takes place three months, maybe four months after I moved back, back in about a year ago from now. And so my old car was a 2001 Pontiac Grand Am, very much in bad condition. It was very dirty. It, the, both back tires were flat, and I drove hundreds of miles. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it was just uh, fire. It was a six-cylinder engine, and it was firing on five cylinders. So one of them had a misfire. So I was in. I, I had gotten my new car by then, so I would basically just leave this out on the street uh, and only go out there and sit in it during street cleaning on Wednesdays in order to tell the meter maid that my car doesn't go anymore. The only time I'd ever encountered nice meter maids was doing that, because they'd be like, okay, no problem. Like, oh, at least well. you were there to tell me that, right? Um, stop tickling the cusp. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. Um, so one day, uh, one night actually, rather, I was in a state where I had woken up ever so slightly and just become kind of aware of, the outside world while I was still eyes shut and like kind of sleeping and I heard a and 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 the car was parked I could I couldn't see it but I could it was on the street that my bedroom window faced that it was parked mm. so I heard that and at, in my half sleep phase I was like oh I hope that wasn't my car <laughs> woke up in the morning autumn's eating white rice with her hands I woke up in the morning and it was Wednesday morning, so I had to go down there to uh, sit in my car for the street cleaning. And I see that the back door window was broken open with a fucking rock this big next to it on the sidewalk. And I go in and I look, and my floor mats were on the back seat of the car. And there was glass everywhere and, like, trash and shit. And it smelled like piss. And I was like, some fucking bum broke into my car and slept in it and made it his house for the night. Oh my god! I was dude. so pissed, so pissed. I had a lot of nostalgia with this car. It was my first car in high with school that I got. <laughs> <laughs> it was my dad, for Christ's sakes. No, this was my first car that I had in high school. Every, I, you know, I had experiences in this car and everything, and I was like, it got defiled. Did you ever fuck in that car? I did. I lost my virginity in that car. Actually. Ew! To what, Ew, what, what, dude, dude, what dude, Devin, guy? James lost his virginity in the Granny at Condam. Devin lost his virginity, dude. <laughs> oh my God, Darwin! Hi. You got the Darwin Award? For biggest haircut? Give me that chilada. Biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that you had sex. Oh, I love you. Man. I can't wait till I have sex. I've too. never had sex in a car more than once. Have you had sex um, in a car? Yeah. So. It sucks. <laughs> hold on. Uh, this is, we're going, we're going to go pause. I had a threesome in a car. In a coupe. Me too. Tough, yeah. you know? What the fuck, dude? It was <laughs> awful, yeah. It was awful. Too many people. So little room. Yeah. Was that yeah. like two guys or two girls? Two girls. Back, Just him. you and two girls? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I forgot that you. Yeah, I had a gay. Or, um, prison gay. What do you call it? Prison gay. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have had a whole mess of experiences, haven't you? No, no, no. Sure that's uh, Devin's. That's Devin's. Have you had a threesome before? That's Devin's. I'm opening it for him. Have you ever had a threesome? A couple times. Really? Yeah. With who? You wouldn't know them, so the names matter. No, I'm more more just curious about like uh, how that went. Okay, well, we're still in story time. Oh, we are? It's not over. Okay, but we're just taking an intermission? I thought the chips were, here. and all this was an intermission. Can or I get at least a chip? It was over. Can I get a chip? Jalapeno. Right, not during the story, because I don't want you food mouth, you know? No, Kip did. This is an ASMR. Okay. <laughs> the last time I was on the podcast, I chewed gum the first 30 minutes, and I had to cut it all out. 
you were chewing? Yep. Was that embarrassing for you? Yeah. Because now I you picked soft myself. food for your bad gums. Yep. Well, Spicy is good gums. Little known fact, Otto doesn't have any gums. It's true. Get back to story time. Okay. <laughs> I am. I'm just trying to explain the peanut butter and jelly in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I get out there and I see the car and I'm livid. I can't contain my anger. So I go to my office and I ask them. He smashed the window. He smash up. Mm-hmm. So I go to the my office and I ask them if there's a spare parking spot in the garage that I could just temporarily keep my car in so it's not on the street anymore. And they were nice enough to give me a spot. So I go back out there to move my car. And guess who had returned? I don't know. Who did it? Well, Kip, it's I'm, easy. I'm no, 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 wait, look, guess. I honestly, I have three guesses. Okay. Is either James returning? No, James was there. He's saying someone else returned. Lauren is the only. No, nope. Lauren's, Lauren's upstairs. Lauren's upstairs. Lauren's upstairs. Vinny. Vinny has Doesn't not have, been born yet. Four doesn't have a dog give yet. Give me a chance. You returned. Okay. So the homeless man was there in the car, and I go outside. And and, and keep in mind, my windows are so dirty. And that it's it. hard to even look. Don't you dare. <laughs> that it's hard to even look inside of my car because of how dirty the windows are. So, and I notice <laughs> a silhouette. <laughs> Did your phone ring while you were Sorry, my phone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed what? <laughs> Ow. I noticed. Who returned? <laughs> I noticed the man who had broken into my car, inside of my car. And I just felt every single nerve ejaculating inside of my body. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? <laughs> so I can't, I can't fucking believe it. And I fucking just, I'm like, on the window, I'm like, hey! And he's just, huh? And I'm like, get the fuck out! <laughs> and he's just like... Was he in a drugged out state? I think he was just kind of drunk. He didn't seem drugged out, he seemed drunk. Did that you hurt him? Drunk. I'll get to that. Yes, 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 yes. You didn't. Yes. So I can't, I, 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 like, he wasn't fucking moving. And I was like, get the fuck out! And he was just like... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know and I was I like, can. oh, I know. And then I fucking went around because I was at the driver's side and he was in the passenger seat. I opened the fucking door and I was like this close to his. I was like, get the fuck out of my car. And he was just like. And I literally was just like, well, and I grabbed his arm and I kid you not. My adrenaline was pumping so hard. I threw him 20 feet. That's so stupid. <laughs> Who came That's back? That's such a stupid thing to say. Who is it? Why? <laughs> 20 feet? Okay, 10 feet. The thing is the matter. Still. Four feet. One foot. Oh, no. Right, right out no. of the car. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the impressive. Sidewalk, the sidewalk is easily as wide as this table and another half where it is. Is okay? this the paper man? Who, how is this person this light where you can throw them 20 feet? He was a fucking homeless person. He hadn't eaten in 36 minutes. There's no way you can throw a person more than two feet. You want to see? Watch I'm not this. as angry as I was right then. But anyways, <laughs> throw through the fucking window. <laughs> no, I threw him a good distance. Devin, you were there, right? He called Was it, what did he say, 20 feet then? Who came That's back so to the stupid. car? <laughs> <laughs> so I fucking threw him out of the car. It was a long distance. If I ever have that amount of adrenaline again, I'll, I'll, I'll present it to you and show you what I'm doing. Please do. Of. If you can throw a person 20 feet, you're a hero. You don't have mommy strength, dude. I did at the time, because my strength. car came out of my pussy. Because my character arc finally threw up. <laughs> Maybe a mommy strength. So I fucking feet. threw him out of the car, and he feet. fucking literally just like, <laughs> killed him. <laughs> no, he just get up and, he like, I, I literally, because he was on the ground, and he was just like, Ugh. and I literally <sighs> just grabbed him by his fucking collar and lifted him up. I was so pissed that like my strength was superhuman. And I lifted him up to me, and I was like, if I ever see you on this fucking street again, I will kill you. And then he he was just like, blah, blah. and I and I looked at him. and I was like, you know that I will. And I gar- I fucking I promise you. He was like, like he understood that I would murder him if I ever saw him again. And then because I get very when I'm that angry, I get just fantastical threats. And then I pointed in the direction and I said, walk until you can't anymore. <laughs> Dude. And he did! Because <laughs> I literally him. saw him like disappear over the horizon. It was like a beautiful sunset. <laughs> and he just walked into the ocean drive. He's a horse. <laughs> and I told him that. And then I never, I never saw him. I mean, I never saw him again. For a guy that can and, barely do a plane for 30 and, seconds. And you want to see minutes. me do more? You want to see me do more? I will. And I'd love to. Funny story. The outcome of this story <laughs> was there was a guy who was visiting his friend in the apartment across the street. And he was like, hey, dude. And then I was like, what? Because I was so mad. He's like, Man, I'm surprised you didn't whoop his ass. 
Uh, he wasn't black. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was though. Um, Sorry, he was really and he was like, Devin. "Man, I'm surprised he didn't whoop his ass." Like, and I was like, "Dude, I'm more of the type of guy who puts the fear of God in somebody rather than beats the shit out of them." That's why I have such grandiose threats. And that guy, a week later, bought my Pontiac because he he flips cars. Wow! So uh, it worked out. Convenient. Mm-hmm. Still though, twenty feet. What? The twenty feet's wrong, and I still don't know who came back to the 20 car. Twenty feet's wrong. Five feet is barely believable. Was it Devin? Two feet. Yes. Devin, James, Vinny, or Lauren, or you that came back to the truck. This man would have to be 90 pounds. I think he, I genuinely you think You couldn't was. throw 90 he pounds. He was like, a, feet, yeah, right? I think he was maybe an inch taller than... You um, for, for you'd literally a sh- had to, shot to do, ball. like, yeah, exactly. You had to spin either. around four times <laughs> to get a good enough inertia. To get and then, seven feet. Yeah. You'd have to be, like, holding him on the top of your... No, no. You'd have 20 to be, feet? You'd have to be, like, already in mid-swing. Like, you're throwing him onto okay. his feet. James, you threw him four feet. Okay. Sure. Can we agree it was four feet? Okay, four feet. Okay, four feet. That's a lot. And that's a lot. For the sake of the story, I exaggerated because of this. The, in, in in perspective, the distance that I threw him compared to how normally strong I am, compared to how rageful I was at the time, compared to how light he was, it was a very far distance. You know that leads it's back to that uh, was Life of Pi where they're like, I haven't seen that shit. It's well, great. It's great. You should watch it. You should read the book too. It's a really good book. It's great. Yeah. Great movie. Best Martin Scorsese film. Yes, easily. I loved really, Marcus really Chapman in that. Too. So, James, I think what happened is your prescription for your glasses is fucked. So <laughs> what you thought was 20 feet was a four-foot throw. We literally just decided that it was about four or five feet. It was yeah. about four or five feet because of the prescription of your glasses. It gives you tunnel vision. All right, you guys aren't getting any more stories from me then. I want more James stories. If they're this good... I sat quiet and I listened. Well, you're not going to tell me any stories? I'll tell you stories mm-hmm. as you eat white rice. Okay. What if I'm eating white rice? Together. What if I'm eating white rice? If you're eating white rice, I'm then I'm going to take right it from now. you. You can try. Watch this. Oh. So we agreed on four feet? Is that what the resolution was with there? Yeah. That's amazing. I'm actually, I'm super proud of you because now I know that you can defend us against the casino people. It's under if they my ever show up, nails. Which they will. I think, um... We were gonna do an improv game. Do we have any time for it as like a closing like piece? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So anything else we need to talk about? Uh, no, we just have a uh, the improv game, and then we got to go over a little bit of artwork. Um, cool. Actually, let's end on the improv game. So uh, right here, we've been uh, submitting artwork. Or we've we've all been making art. Uh, you guys have actually been making us a lot of really really <laughs> cool fan art. Um, also, the word fan is so gross. I don't know why. It's just it's it, so gross to use the word fan, fan. art. Yeah. No, just Same the word fans fan. in general. I don't know. I always just use like viewer. Anyone that something. says fans. You know, Me funny. and James have both said fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. You guys are new to this, aren't you? Aren't yeah. They? Are they not fans, though? They are, but it's I think it's putting you above them to call them fans. So viewers is like... Well, we make a exactly show that people are. enjoy. Are they not called fans? It's not a True, derogatory but, but term. But it still can, comes off comes I'm a fan way. of many things. Mm, just say, sure. like, I don't see it as lower. But, to refer as but I also com- understand that, that the things that I'm a fan of, I am, uh, like, I'm viewing them and I'm appreciating them. Uh, so I'm not a part of them. It's a double standard because I do consider myself a fan, and I wouldn't be mad if someone called me a fan of like Breaking Bad. What but if Chance oh, so the Rapper was blowing smoke at What if Chance the Rapper? Right? Chance no, no, the Rapper. Exact opposite. What if Chance the Rapper came up to you? He's like, "Oh, it's always nice to meet a fan." I am a fan of his. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, At least we make YouTube videos. The email is sp7fanart at gmail dot com. By the way, if you would like to submit uh, fan art, and there is art that has been showing this entire time, and we oh thank you very much for that. (laughs) Also, um, I had um, one of our community members make a video of um, all the reactions from our streamies win. What? I was so surprised. So yeah, all those were so cool to see. I haven't seen any of them. Cause Devin, so Devin, I talked to Devin really drunkenly at the streamies, and I was like, we should make a video of everybody's reactions, and he took me seriously, and he asked people for the videos. And uh, I was going to do it, but I didn't have time, so someone else already did it, and I made them do it. And the streamy goes to Sugar Pine 7! Oh, Oh, so they won. Autumn. <laughs> what the fuck? Tonight.
night we pop in the biggest bottles in honor of the boys. Bottles up. Whoa, very good. started this channel six months ago if you would have told me that we'd be winning i don't know any award at I all knew we'd win. i would have been like that's very cool thank you guys so much i want to thank everybody that watches our videos that's very nice of her yeah that's so cool yep um i guess let's just uh do the improv game then so i've only taken like and one improv class, and it was at SourceFed. They graciously here. paid for that with the Discovery budget at the time. Never taken an improv class, never will. Do you guys, fun. Do you guys oh. want to have Devin sit in for this? Because I nightmare at improv. Okay. Devin, do you want to sit in for the improv game? Cool. Uh, so how this game goes is we'll make a story. How to make that story involves a beginning and an ending. And we, Should we have, have to... Should we have another mic for... Oh, oh I don't know. No, Devin's... Yes. Yeah, no, uh, so we're going to start off. I guess uh, Kib can start the story. Uh, we're going to do one... Two, Clockwise. three, four. And we have to end it in four. Actually, let's end it in eight moves. So that means we <laughs> go over everybody twice. So everybody gets one thing. So it'll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you Nine. end the story. I end it. And Kip starts it. And we end on the eighth. Are we, doing, you get one, to get a topic. Are we doing run, or one genre. round? Or? You get one sentence, and we're doing one round. Genre. And so eight, genre, right? What we're going to go around twice, genre. and it ends on the eighth. Got it. Genre. I like oh, genre. Oh, and then... Uh, we also need um, someone to tell us a topic. So I'm going to have Mimi come up with a topic for us to talk to come up with a topic for us. Just any topic? Any topic to do this game? Um, Speak like right here. The Easter Bunny. Cool. And let's What's begin. Genre? <laughs> Horror. Very oh, good. beautiful. Very good. Kim, whenever you're ready. <coughs> Twas Halloween night and the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Trick or treating, but it was just a costume. Or so he thought as he attempted to remove his mask. But twists weren't going to happen, and it was just the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> but what he did have was his handy dandy Jesus parachute. Only he didn't have his handy dandy Jesus parachute at all. And when he decided to leap off the building and become the vigilante that he had dreamed of, he missed his mark and didn't fall off the building. And he also had his mask and everything that Kib said he didn't have. And instead landed in a tree upside down. Only he and did. that is the untold origin of Batman. Oh, let's do another one. Let's do another one. <laughs> I love to say that the other thing that he said didn't oh. happen. <laughs> Except Heat that's rash. not true. Rash oh, and then oh, heat rash. Um, romance? Romance. Yeah. Oh. Okay, heat rash, romance. Uh, this time, new rule starting me, no twists. Sorry, everybody. All right. So, any on me? And then, you want to start it? Cool. Here we go. I noticed... <laughs> excuse me. He's doing his heat rash. As I was drying myself from the shower... I noticed something burning. I looked down at my genitals, and it seemed to be my penis. But lo and behold, twas not my penis, but a tail that had sprouted from my back and coiled between my legs out of fear. Sentence. I turned on the bath, and my tail... The tail Romance. squirted betwixt my subtle legs. And it was at the, that moment, my polyamorous <clears throat> boyfriend and girlfriend 
ran in, worried as to what they were going to find. I leaped on her and kissed her him passionately until the tail disappeared into his asshole. That's the whole thing. And that's when we all played the song Karaoke by the Dream Williams Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another one. I want to end it. The Dreams Williams Brothers. So then you should start, or I should start you ending. Should start. Okay. Um, topic. Give us any topic. Topic? Uh, gambling. Cool. Uh, family film. Oh. So we've got a gambling topic with a family film, because I think mm-hmm. you're a little bit far so from So for that. James to end it, who starts yeah. it? I start. Okay. <clears throat> I was at the casino with my parents, and I just couldn't put the dollars down. For my dad had given me Monopoly money for fear of my growing addiction. I was three years old. <laughs> I was going to say that. You said <laughs> and already, my addiction had taken a hold of 36 of my wives, all of which are dead. I sat down at Blackjack, laid the Monopoly money down. The man let me play for keeps. And play I did with him. Not with his cards, but with his heart. (laughs) And we watched the Lion King and summoned it. What did we summon, you ask? Krampus. 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 Grandpa's. Grandpas. <laughs> Grandpa's. Grandpa's. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think someone actually farted during the middle of that. I wish. Because I definitely smell something. Oh, it wasn't I, me. I took a shower right before I came. Oh. No one so did you can't fart after your shower. That's episode 10 of Beyond the Pine. I'm Steven Septic. These are just a bunch of other people. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Remember, we have a merch store. Link in the description. Uh, any Purchasing any of that. Uh, provide so much less uh, hatred in this office. Uh, we have iTunes reviews that you guys could leave, that, which is totally fine if you don't. Please clean that afterwards. It's dropping on the floor. Some of it did. You dropped it on your shirt. And to uh, any audio listener, I'm uh, apologetic as always. That Thank was, you guys so much. My, Bye, guys. That's my lady.